Sherry. And me, Victoria. Tune in now for tons of great content every Wednesday, 7 p.m. London time. And 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You, you won't, won't want, want to, to miss, miss a, a thing. thing. Um, as you guys know, I am Sherry and this is Victoria and we are now in our fourth episode of Bariatric Beauties. So what we wanted to do today was something different. So Victoria found a recipe. I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry, darling. What? Your um, picture is stuck. My picture is stuck? Yes, darling. Oh my goodness. Go out and come back in. Go out, come back in. I have to get out and come back in? Oh, there you go, darling. Sorry, it's all okay now. Okay. Okay, start again. Okay. It keeps um, stopping. We're good? We're good. All right. So Victoria found us a recipe, a chicken recipe, that's high in protein and it looks extremely amazing. So we thought... Why not we both make the same recipe and see how differently it turns out? So that's what we're going to do today. So the recipe that Victoria found is a spinach stuffed chicken. Ooh. So I'm going to show you guys a picture. And you can't I see don't it. Cook. Well, this is and, funny. And Vic Victoria doesn't cook, so this is going to be fun. Um and I've never done a recipe live before, so any mistakes that we make, you guys get to see all of it. But we figured I during this episode, we're going to talk about food, we're going to talk about protein and stuff like yeah. that in regards to bariatrics. So, Victoria, are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. Okay, um, so look at the ingredients we've got. Well, let's preheat the oven too. So and what's going to be really interesting? Um, so we're going to we're going to preheat the oven. Well, I'm going to preheat the oven because I'm. So we decided that I'm going to do the oven version of this recipe, and I think Victoria is going to do it in the air fryer. So we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. And then what's the first I'm step? The air fryer, sorry. So what's step one? Okay, so the step one, I want to show the difference in packaging and the difference in whether we've got the same packaging, whether being in the United Kingdom and being in America, whether we've got the same packaging. So that's okay, the interesting. So show your cream cheese. My cream cheese is a brand that I found called Clover at our local healthy market. Oh, so so I've, actually, I've actually never used this cream cheese before, so it's gonna be interesting how it turns out, but I am a huge fan of Philadelphia. Okay. Good mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Good mayonnaise. Good mayonnaise. Mine says real mayonnaise. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, spinach. Spinach. I have spinach leaves Ooh. ready. I've got spinach leaves right there. And then my chicken, right? Look at the base on these. They're just oh. humongous. Those are huge. So, so I have... I, I think... <laughs> Uh, I didn't know what to buy, so I was just like, yeah, we'll have some of those. Um, yeah, I have or some yeah. organic skin. Yeah. And then what have you got, paprika? I do have paprika. Oh. Paprika, swats. Yeah. Okay, garlic, granules. Yep, I have garlic granules and onion powder Ooh. oh the onion powder too onion granules actually because i couldn't find powder but i presume it's the same thing oh it's fine mine says onion and, granules. Um, 
Oh, so I've got um, Parmesan cheese, but I it's called Grace's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A piece of garlic, but I haven't I... got the. Yeah, I haven't got the um, red uh, red uh, pepper. Oh, the red. Yeah, the recipe called the red pepper flakes, and I ordered it last night uh, to be delivered. And so they sent me red chili peppers. I'm thinking that's the same thing. But I personally, uh, I personally can't tolerate spicy food. So I'll put, I'll make half of it with the chili pepper yeah. if I have out. And then I have regular uh, pepper, peppercorn grinder for pepper. Okay, yeah. And for my salt, I have pink Himalayan salt grinder. I've so we've been salt grinder. Being fancy we'll today. Be fancy. Yeah. And then, so are you going to use oh, olive, oil olive oil? Olive oil. I'm going with. So while Victoria's doing that, I actually found, I've never used this before, so we're going to try it. But I bought some avocado oil in a spray. Woo! I didn't see that one, so I've got olive. Okay. I have olive oil too, but I thought we're going to do it a little differently. So I'm going to use the avocado spray. Yeah. And then let's see yeah. how it turns out. All right. This will so be very interesting. It's going to be fun. Okay. I know. Right. Step one four chicken breasts. I can do that one. I can do chicken. that one. But mine is so huge. Do I do four? I feel like they're radioactive. Oh, yeah. Okay. The cats just about to jump on the table. Yeah. See, look, they're huge. Yeah, mine aren't, mine aren't too bad. They're, pre they're pretty big, though. I don't know whether to do two or four. What should I do? I would make all, why not? Because then you're like, you can do it as this is could probably be a really good meal prep, too. Yeah, okay. I've done. Let's <laughs> put the thing in the bin. Wash my hands. Can you save me one? Can you get on? Can you get on? Look, can no, you get on chat? I'll tell you why. Yes. Um, okay. Are you with us? I've got four. Does you want to? <laughs> okay, so step one, we got the chicken out ready to go. And then step two is we're going to drizzle it with the oil. So I'm going to spray it with avocado oil. And I'm going to put the uh, uh, this oil on it. Drizzle, drizzle. Woo! Too much. Too much, too much, too much. Woo! That's a It's Apparently, Victoria did not have in the weather report drizzle. She had torrential downpour. Oh, I'm, I'm only on the first step. We're on step one, and there's torrential downpour in the UK in the form of olive oil. Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! You're killing me. Is this okay? Is this okay? I'm looking this at my husband for support. Is this okay? This is what happens when you go live on a cooking show, and we are not a child or Rachel Ray or Emerald. We are just two chicks who thought. <laughs> Let's cook live on camera and see what happens. <laughs> right, add paprika, half a teaspoon. Yeah, so right, I've like got a teaspoon here. Do you think that's half a teaspoon? Yeah, so I we're going to add paprika. Got my paprika. Yep. Right, let's put this on a plate because I oh, I've uh, put it all in oil. Can I have a plate then, Stu? And I'm not one who usually measures for the recipe. I just kind of give it. I just sprinkle. Yeah. 
So I'm just the paprika and my onion. Hold on, I've got, oh, look, you're ahead of me. All right, I'll wait for you. My professional, I've got it all new. I have to open everything up. Oh, with these nails and oil. I've got oil on my hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't open it because there's oil on my hands. <laughs> right, hang on. Oh, I'm so rubbish. You know, I'm going to put some, I don't think it actually asked for peppercorn on here, pepper. I'm going to add a little pepper to my chicken. My husband's standing and laughing his head off. Right, listen, you know the half on each, is it on each one, half a pre-pika? No, I think what the actual recipe says is to mix it in a bowl and then spread it on both sides. But I'm just kind of gauging it. I'm just kind of sprinkling each one on each side. All right, okay. On each side? Yeah. Oh, I'm lost already. Oh, my God. Right, I'll show you. <laughs> it says to do it on both sides right now. Look. Oh, shit. Really fell off the board. <laughs> right, look. It can take you Here's anywhere. So are we on side one? I've got. That's good. I'm I'm on look, I'm on Propeka. Oh. But not on both sides. I've only put it on one side. You're just gonna put it on one side? Well look, 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 look. Right? That's one side. Do I put it on both? Right. Yeah, you gotta do it on both sides. Okay, I'm doing that now then. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you should see me. I'm in a mess. We are using paprika. <laughs> look, look, are your hands like this? No, well, how, how do your hands get like that so quickly? <laughs> I love it though. Because you gotta rub it in, you gotta rub it in, yeah. You're a rubber? I'm not a rubber. I'm just a sprinkler. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you miss this. Okay, was... right. Add paprika. Have the salt. Oh, look, I'm in a mess. Okay, right. Hold on. Salt. Yes, we want paprika. Salt garlic powder and onion powder right salt is coming is it coming is it late <laughs> i'm giving victoria yeah. mad props right now because she has told me on multiple occasions that she is not one to cook very much in the kitchen so we're pushing Victoria outside of her boundaries today and putting her. Look at me. The salt won't come out now. And it's got Propeka all over it. Okay. Just say that came out. All right. It came out. Um, okay. Let me try my hands and let's see if I can do it again. No. Let's. <laughs> Like I'm using the air fryer because otherwise so, I'd be here all day. So funny side note is Victoria oh. was giving me shit before this live chat because I have a Himalayan pink salt grinder and it said that you have to measure your salt out ahead of time. And I was like, oh, how do I measure it from a grinder? So she's like, I'm making this sound. And she goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm grinding my salt so that I can measure it later. And I put it in this little container. And she's like, oh, you're cheating. And I'm like, how am I yeah. cheating? I don't want I something. Know, I don't I know. And I've just cheated now because um, Stu had to do it. Thank you, Stu. <laughs> no problem. Oh, God. Right, that's right. salt. Right, I've done the salt. I've done the paprika. Now, uh, yeah, garlic, garlic powder. powder. Garlic powder, onion powder. 
Right, garlic powder. How much? Half, oh, quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, I've got to open it again. Right, hold on, folks. Right, open this. Do you know what? We were going to talk about all the things. Right. Yeah, so while you're doing that, um, we were talking last night and we were talking about when you have the surgery, you're off, off, most of us are usually on a liquid diet. For some people, it might be just be two weeks. For my, for my diet, I was supposed to be on liquids for a whole month. So I was on four weeks of just liquids. So we were, we were laughing last night because we were talking about what was like the first meal that you ever yeah. had post-surgery. And I had to stop us. Yeah. And so for me, uh, when I, when I saw the, the requirements of what you're allotted for your first meal, it was like mashed foods. So, and you're only a lot, like, I think you can only really stomach maybe like an ounce or something like that. So one of the approved mashed foods for me was mashed, um, banana. And then one of the other approved foods was mashed tuna. So I literally took a cup of an ounce and I put tuna on my plate and then I had like an ounce of mashed banana and I was like, oh my God, like this is going to be so amazing. And I only ate like half of it, but it was the most glorious thing that I had ever done. Yeah, and, all oh of my God. God. and all yeah. of a sudden, now, it's been like seven years later and I'm telling this story to Victoria last night and I was <laughs> like, that is the most disgusting thing. Yeah. I have. Who the hell is going to put tuna and banana on the same plate and think that's going to be some kind of culinary I know who. amazing thing. But for me, I hadn't had food for so long that it was the most glorious thing at the time. Yeah. But in hindsight, no, just for the record. Okay. I don't think, and for the record, I didn't mix the tuna with the banana. It was just two little separate pieces on my plate or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think you had them together. That is so <laughs> That is so disgusting. It's so bad. But we got a comment all the way from Australia. One of my Ooh. friends, Kez, is watching us live. And the thing that I love about Kez is I met her through the bariatric community. And yeah. when I first published my book, and I was yeah. just starting to post about it, I was waiting for them to yeah. come in. Kez was my very first purchase of my book. Oh. So she, she yeah. officially me a published selling author and I told her for the rest of my life she will always change my life because she was my very first sale to oh, some woman in Australia so Kez thank you so much for your support and I'm so glad you're here today um we've been waiting for Victoria because she's been giving me shit about prepping ahead of time and now look at her she's still prepping. you know what I think I've done it all wrong Oh, Jesus. What did you do? Well, you know the add paprika and add tablespoon of all of that? Yeah. On both sides of the chicken. Right. Yeah. You oh, right. It's right. Side. It's okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it said in a bowl. Put put onion powder in a bowl. Well, what, it was, what the instructions were saying is to put all of those ingredients into a bowl, mix it up, and then sprinkle it onto your chicken. But we kind of just bypassed that. And we just sprinkled it right onto the chicken. Oh, all right. Okay. So we're good. So your next step, because I'm already a step ahead of you, is you just cut a slit into the middle of the chicken. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for this. All right. Look. It's go time. Okay. <laughs> make, sure, make sure Stu's away from you. We don't need none of that right now. <laughs> Oh my God. Help. Like, I don't want to distract you. I was going to ask you what, what was your first meal? Your first um, actual meal? My, yeah, I did all the porridge, um, scrambled egg. Um, what else did I do? That sort of thing. Though. Um, cottage cheese. I loved, um, oh, mainly it was eggs. I know you don't like cottage cheese. Well, I remember, I remember on the mashed foods, it listed cottage cheese. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have some cottage cheese. <laughs> and then when I ate it for the first time, I'm like, what? <laughs> Not happening. Sorry. 
No. Okay, I am not. So no cottage cheese for you. No cottage cheese. I am not judging anybody who eats it. I heard it's really good. <laughs> I'm not judging anyone. Not judging <laughs> anybody. Not my cup of tea at all. Right. Is that okay? All right. Have you cut your chicken? Oh, it's beautiful. That looks really obscene. Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Now what? Okay. So now we're going to get a bowl and we're going to add our cream cheese. Oh my God. Right. Cream cheese. And I've got to weigh this, haven't I? How, do, are, how, how are you when it comes to like eating cheese and stuff like that? Does it bother you at all? Milk. Now, milk, I can have in a cup of tea. So dairy, cheese, no problem. But milk in cereal goes straight through me. I have the worst experience on a full glass of milk, full shakes of milk after surgery. Really? Isn't that weird? When I can have it in tea. That's so weird. And I grew up, we we drank milk all the time in our cereal. We would have a yeah. glass of milk. Yeah. And something hey. even before the surgery, something happened as I got older where I kind of became like yeah. lactose intolerant. Yeah. So, but here's the problem is I'm Italian. So we live off of pasta, yeah. bread, and cheese. Yeah. So, I'm not gonna I'm not have it. So I'm sure that this will not sit well, but I don't care because it looks so the picture looks so, so how do you get so how do you get on with it then? I usually like I just won't eat very much of it. For yeah. me. But it's hard. Like I put and it's certain cheeses. Like I'm a big fan of Gouda cheese. Yeah. I, I love Gouda. That doesn't seem to bother me, but other cheeses seem to have a different effect than others. I don't know what it is. I don't know where my little mixer is. So like here's my chicken. I've oh, got I think. So 4.65 is just over four ounces, yeah? Yeah, I would. If, I think usually most containers are like eight ounces in the eight ounce container. Yeah, okay. So I'm just. So I'm it would be like half a container? Because I've never done it in ounces. I do pounds. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why our, um, our, our measurements are so different. Like kilometers and miles and pounds and yeah. pounds, stones. stones, 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 love stones, stones. I don't even know what a stone is. It's 14 pounds to a stone. So why don't they just, why, why doesn't everybody just use the same thing? Because darling, we're English. I think when we came to America, we're like, we're just going to do everything freaking backwards. <laughs> just to show the Brits. We're not like you. We're going to do it all backwards. You have kilometers. We're going to miles. Quarter of a cup. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. In my bowl. In the bowl with your cream cheese. So we are measuring it out. I can't take the lid off, sorry. There's no way like to keep it. I'm not going to lie. I added some more Parmesan cheese to mine because you love it. We're not doing a show on the aftermath of this dish. We're just doing a show on how but to listen, make it. I can't take the lid off. So you know the little bits? That's my, look, how I'm trying to do my Parmesan cheese. Anyway, that's in. Well, you have a cute little Parmesan cheese. I have like the big, we, I love cheese. Mm, I do. So we're mixing cream cheese. Parmesan and mayo. So I'm gonna put yeah. my. It says two tablespoons of mayo Ew. <laughs> you know what? I'm not a huge fan of mayo. Um, potato salad or a macaroni salad or something like this. But I'm not one who actively like puts it on my sandwich. I know I'm freaking weird. Then what? Cream cheese mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? How much mayonnaise? 
two tablespoons. Right, I've got a tablespoon, right? I don't need that anymore. Yeah, you can do two tablespoons, or I learned that an eighth of a cup is actually two tablespoons. Well, I don't know what eighth of a cup is. Is that a tablespoon? Oh, my God. Did you see that? <laughs> my... <laughs> My what thing is was literally snapped in half. What is that? That was my spatula. I was using it to make. I just got mayo and cheese. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw it all explode. I can't even believe that that just happened. Aren't we fantastic chefs? Do you think we'll get on telly? <laughs> Just crazy thing breaks, Crazy lady breaks her spatula live on a small little podcast <laughs> on YouTube Watch right now. Oh my god, it's so funny. I have a feeling that my cream cheese just wasn't softened completely enough. Really? I think that's why it broke. I think my spatula was just not ready for that. Oh. Uh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so then what else are we adding to it? Spusha. Oh, cream cheese, Parmesan, mayo, spinach. Oh, I got to put the spinach in here. Do we have to chop the spinach up then? I think you, I think it's better to chop it up. I'm sure people can put it in whole. So what's the tablespoon? Double there. Double it. I can't believe I freaking spilled mayo on myself. The doorbell's gone. Hello. Hi, de hi. So we're chopping up some spinach. That's my it's son back. That is, is that Ollie. Back. That's Ali. So I think it says about a half, a cup and a half of spinach. Did I put the garlic granules in? No, I haven't. Have I put the garlic granules into the parmesan mayonnaise, spinach, garlic? No, you put, you put garlic in it. And so just garlic. Oh, I need the crushed garlic, don't I? I believe so. Right, okay. And I've still got my chicken on these things. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Let's move these out of the way then. I need to move this on a bowl. Let's see what else do we got? Oh, I have garlic. I actually, I actually bought garlic cloves instead of minced garlic because Eric always judges me, and he hates yeah. when I buy the minced garlic in a jar. Right. So it needs to be fresh garlic. So here we are. So if Eric's watching later, fresh garlic for fresh you. Garlic. Just for you, Eric. Just for you. Because I don't want to hear that shit. Don't want to hear that shit? No. <laughs> so does does <laughs> Stu like cooking? If, since you're not much of a cook, does Stu cook? He cooks everything, yeah. Um, yeah, basically. Does he enjoy it? <laughs> With all the children. I'm sitting now because I'm cutting garlic and I'm going to have to do the... Right, there you go. One garlic clove, yeah? Or two? I don't know. I'm putting extra... I love garlic. So, again, Eric, I'm going to apologize if it comes out of my pores later, but... You know, I've lost the um, garlic grinder. I'm gonna have to do it again. Okay. Oh. Love garlic. I've learned. So I have, a, I have a question for you, Victoria. Oh God, what? Um, <laughs> when, when you had when you had the bypass, oh no, you yeah. had the you had the sleeve first. When you I had the sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve was first. Was there any foods that just didn't sit well with you? It was the uh, beef. 
But you can sit well. Can I tell you something? Guess what I had for breakfast for two years? Two years what? breakfast every morning before anything. Smoked salmon and coleslaw. Really? Two years. Couldn't get enough of it. Yeah, couldn't get enough of it. Was it was just because you loved it so much? Yeah, I just I went just went crazy over it after the surgery. I mean, I like it. it but in hell, two years with it, and then after my bypass, I thought, oh, smoke salmon and coleslaw. Ugh. It's horrible. So you were able to tolerate it for all this time, and then you had the bypass, yeah. and you tolerated yeah. it. Yeah, didn't like it. It tasted vile. That's so interesting. I know, isn't it? What else? Um, can't think. I'm touching up my garlic. But I have a little meat on the board. <laughs> Just freaking clanking around. <laughs> So what about you? What was your things that you didn't tolerate? I, for me, I remember in the very beginning, um, there were certain protein, there were certain protein drinks that I would drink it and it made me instantly nauseous. And I think, I don't know if it was because the, the consistency was like a little too thick. So yeah. like when I would, drink, or if I drank it too fast, it would make me really sick. Um, yeah. I'll never forget. I think I was at my, it was like a year later or something like that. I was at my grandma's house yeah. and my grandma used to make like breaded pork chops and she yeah. would like, you know, she would fry them and bake them and all these things. And it was so good. Yeah. And I, and I never really had fried foods much after the surgery. Cause I was, I was so strict with what you can have. Right. And what you can have. But yeah, I figured it's, I will. it's been a year. I'm like, I, I think I can handle it by now. And I, and I took a couple of bites and you're sitting at the table and all of a sudden I just get really quiet and I'm like, something doesn't feel right. And for me, I don't know about you or anybody. Yeah. You know, if I if I eat too much or if I overeat or eat too fast or certain foods, I'll feel like a pressure like right here. Yeah. And it's so yeah. uncomfortable. And I'll try to go for a walk. I'll take Tums. And sometimes it just doesn't settle. And this was one of those. And I thought, I was like, maybe I'll just take some Tums. It'll go away. But over the next 10 minutes, I'm like, no. This is, this is not going to end well for me. And then I ended up, it ended up, I ended up getting sick from it. I ended up throwing up not to be gross as we're cooking, but so. Oh no. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. yeah. Or if I yeah. did something that I hadn't had in a long time and maybe it's because yeah. I got overly excited. Like I was so excited to like eat it again that maybe I just ate it a little too fast. Yeah. And yeah. Just, yeah. And then my, my sleeve okay. is like, F you today. Yeah, that's me. I think, oh, I get really excited. It was so lovely last time. And then your body just goes, uh, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> the other thing is, when I came out of surgery, you have to eat slider foods, don't you? So you're eating yeah. the porridge. Then you're eating more carbs than you are protein. I can right. hear all that. Um, the telly. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, you have to eat all your slider foods, and um, then you go to your obviously your main sort of like your your solids, so you can hear your like um, your solids. Chicken yeah. Yeah. Um, really filled me up quickly, and still yeah. does now. Like, sometimes I think to myself, it's not working. It's just not working, and I and I keep saying to do it. I've stretched it. It's not working. Yeah. And then I was cooking, and then I'm like, it's there. Mm. <laughs> or yeah, or yeah. lamb. If I have a roast, if I have a roast dinner, we have lamb and yeah. vegetables. I never eat the potatoes until very last, but I never get to eat them because I'm just absolutely oh. interesting, isn't it? That is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, where are you at? Do you have everything mixed up? I've got everything mixed up, I think, uh, apart from the red pe pepper. Okay, um, so the next salt, step is salt. we're gonna put this mixture into our into our chicken. 
Ja. Ich habe so. I'm just putting salt now in the cheese. Oh, I haven't done spinach. Oh my god, I know. I am spooning this globby goodness Woo! into what is the mixtures. Uh, so my mom has joined us and she is asking for those of us who turned in late, what kind of chicken are we making? So we um, are making a stuffed chicken breast that's stuffed with Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, spinach, seasonings, um, and a little bit of mayo. Um, what you missed before is in the middle of mixing live. My spatula completely broke and threw mayo particles and these all over onto myself. So that's been really fun. So we are taking the, the mixture and I am putting it inside of the chicken. And I'm well behind because I'm such a bad cook. Not because you're a bad cook, but I just think it's Maybe funny. I've that done, I didn't know what I was doing with the oil. Everything's everywhere. Oh, yeah, Victoria's, Victoria had a downpour of olive oil when she was putting it on her chicken earlier. That was funny. Yeah, that was a, a river. And then I'm not really going to talk because I splattered mayo stuff all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> and we've decided to make a show of it. Yeah. And that's we're what we're doing. On show. We're going to make a program. The Sherry and Victoria. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to make a roast beef. Oh, that was just anything off the top of my head that was. All right. So, and then also we're doing the chicken two different ways. I mean, we're doing the chicken a totally different way today, but I'm, I have my oven preheated at 375. It says for about 25 minutes and Victoria is going gonna, is gonna to try it in the air fryer, which I think is going to take less time. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I am putting my chicken on my tray. It's got to be tiny. And then I don't know if you can see. Are you ready, Victoria? Go. Woo oh, so on your paws. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bye bye. Oh yeah. So oh, I yeah. think. So basically, once you um, add the mixture into the chicken breast, you fold it back over. That's the last step. And then you pop it into the oven or your air fryer. Um, so I have a feeling mine's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to pop it in now. That's a lot of spinach, you know. But yeah, I didn't measure it out. Didn't you? No, I just kind of I just kind of chopped it up and just kind of gauged it. Okay. I don't I do that. There, there are some people um, that are extremely OCD, so they have to measure every single thing out to a T, and that's just not my my <laughs> style. So, <laughs> I just kind of gauge it and then hope for the best. So you're uh, calling me OCD then? No. Basically, you just called me OCD because I, I can't call it. you OCD because you decided to shower your chicken with olive oil. You didn't measure that. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I am not judging you at all. <laughs> no, okay, uh, so there was a question. What time do we eat? Um, we're going to be eating in about 25 minutes, so come on over. Come on over. Victoria insists that she's going to win this challenge. So yeah. she was yeah. running in the face. That I've she got was my mummy here to taste it. I know Eric's at the gym right now. Um, so Aww. he's probably, he's going to come home all hungry and craving sustenance, as he calls it. <sighs> and then I'm going to give him a dish full of protein. That's the question. 
It's so good. Um, oh, that sounds really weird as well. Yeah. So okay, while we're so for people who are interested, um, we'll probably on the bariatric page we'll post the recipe that we're doing right now, the stuffed chicken breast. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I it told me somewhere here. <laughs> let me let me see if I can find. It. Oh my god! What are you doing? Let's stuff that in. Let's stuff that in like that. What is happening? Oh my god! I'm stuffing. I am. You're stuffing. Yeah, and uh, it's all coming out. Well, I'm already stuffed, so. I know. I'm just saying. You're such a good girl. Swap. Um, so I'm looking at the, so we'll, we'll post the recipe on the bariatric page if anybody wants to try it too. Um, maybe you might want to wait until after it comes out because maybe it's not very good or doesn't look very good. I don't know. Uh, but if it's good, then obviously we'll post it for you guys to give it a try. But we thought it'd be fun because it was it was it was simple enough um, that it didn't take a whole bunch of ingredients, as you guys saw. I had some cheese and mayo, and but it's mostly seasoning, so it's not an expensive dinner either. Um, no. Yeah, and so we're hoping it's going to come out good. But it's going to have. I'm still, I'm still stuffing. You're still stuffing. I'm still stuffing. Did you put like oh, a whole Do you have like a whole farm of chickens in your kitchen right now that you're stuffing? <laughs> Don't give it. I like to it right and loads in it. So if anybody's in, uh, so based on the on the nutritional information, the cool thing is this this one chicken breast. Um, has 41 grams of protein. Now, I don't know about you, Victoria. I can't eat, even, I'm seven years um, post-op. I still can't eat an entire chicken breast no by way. myself when sitting. No so hot. what I usually do is I'll usually split it up into two meals. So I'll have yeah. half the chicken breast for lunch and then the other half with dinner. And then I'll make like a veggie or like a healthy side. Yeah. Uh, last night, Last night we made some chicken thighs and had uh, like a couscous kind oh, of thing. Yeah, I saw that. It was very light. Uh, I and tried actually, the couscous. Yeah, you don't like the couscous, but I, I do. It. Yes, I, I, did. Couscous, I don't like couscous. I did. We were talking to Victoria last night, and I had a couple different options for for rice, and so she picked the couscous, and I never had it before, so I thought I'd try it, and it was actually really good. But it was like a roasted garlic flavored one which was really good i'm telling you like oh, I, it's I, I it's on it's on so because i i have an air fryer my aunt got me one uh for my birthday last year and i've used it a couple times and i love it but i don't think i've made chicken yet in it how long does it take i i literally use it for everything i don't use the oven me hmm. So you that's how I cook. If I cook, that's how I cook. Oh, Chips, interesting. For Ollie, everything. So if you air fry chicken, how long does it usually take? So also, it, it all depends on what it is. Like I've got these Mediterranean, um, like onions, tomatoes, peppers, and um, like mon uh, all these other uh, vegetables. And that I oil up again with olive oil, so only a tiny bit, and then I roast that, and I roast that for about eighteen minutes because I like it really done. Yeah, I love it when you can get the chicken that comes out where the end is really crispy, like the outside is crispy, but then like the inside yeah. is juicy. But I don't yeah. know, like I don't know how to master that every time. So it's like sometimes it comes out, sometimes it's like ah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice when it's like that. But um, so, I think you can get it on bake. But I put it on air fryer tonight. Yeah. So how do you use the air fryer? Like for people who've never used it before. So air fryer, open the drawers, pop your meat in or whatever you're going to have, and then you press number one. It's oh, we've got a dual one, so we've got that. So we press number one. And then we press either air fryer, rose, bake, whichever it's going to be. And then oh. you sweep it on. Just literally 20 minutes or however long you want it for the timer. It's that easy. That is super easy. We that, should start making meal all over. 
We should start making infomercials for the air fryer. Yeah. What are they saying on the um, on the chat? Uh, so so Kez just said it's 6.30 a.m. in Australia right now, and now she's going to be thinking about stuffed chicken all day at work. <laughs> oh, so funny. Well, and what's mom saying? Uh, mom, mom is asking, does the air fryer make it crispy? Yeah, it can do. Yeah, it all depends again which one you put it on. But roast, like literally roast it and make it quick, uh, crispy. And I think air fryer does, depending on which meat it is, etc. So yeah, I think it does. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I do know. I've done. Um, Mine's very I, crispy sometimes because I overdo it and it gets burnt. <laughs> There's a difference between crispy and burnt. Oh, yeah. It'll be one of those one of those times where I'll make something and Eric will be like, "Hey, um, with this dish, I wouldn't make it again." <laughs> and I'm like, "Do eat it and be so nice about it." Which yeah. I appreciate that. Sometimes you wish that they would just lie to you and tell you it's good, but I yeah. do appreciate yeah. that that Eric is overly honest. So if it's bad, he'll tell me it's bad. But then I know that when he's like over the top, like enjoys something and he's like, oh, yeah. God, this is so good. I know that it's genuine. Yeah. And, yeah. and he's yeah. trying to say it to make me feel better. Cause when, he'd be like- When I first, sorry. When I first met Stu, I, I made him beef stroganoff. And he came around with this beef stroganoff, hates cream, hates butter. And I made it with all this cream, probably made it with butter, I don't remember. And um, literally, he wants to be sick if he sees butter. And um, so I made all this beef stroganoff, and I was like, yeah, beef stroganoff, I'll cook. Um, and he's going, oh, great, yeah, thanks. He ate that, and he hated every minute of it, but he really? ate that. Yeah, he only he told me it. months after, he said, I don't like beef stroganoff. <laughs> I probably made it a few times after. Oh my god, I've never <laughs> made beef stroganoff. So if I so when I come to the UK and visit, you're gonna make it for me. Yeah, beef stroganoff. Woo! Oh my god, that sounds so amazing. I'll never forget. I don't remember what the dish was. I think I was trying something new and yeah. whatever whatever I did was so bad, Eric is like, I'm sorry. I I, I can't even do this. And like he literally just <laughs> got up and threw it in the trash. He didn't even try. Oh, I love no, he, Eric. That's he, tried it was. he tried it. It was just so bad. He's like, babe, yeah, I can't I can't do this right now. Not happening. Sorry. <laughs> like, well, then you make oh, it next time. Jeez. That's funny. So um, so we, we were talking about earlier how you were able to tolerate um the smoked salmon and then and then uh when you had the bypass you can no longer yeah. tolerate it anymore. Was yeah. there any? It was, was just, there... I hated the taste. It, not tolerate it so much. I just hated the taste. Like I your taste was like, actually oh. changed? Yeah. Interesting. Everything. Taste. You know what's funny is I don't remember specifically anything tasting different afterwards. Didn't you? I don't, I don't think there was any. Like, and I'm curious, like, I wonder if Kez will say something because Kez had, had the, the surgery too. And I'm curious if she, if there was any foods for her that changed um, with taste or oh, texture yeah. or, or it tolerating or whatever. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I'm curious. If Kez, if Kez, has, Kez has got any. Yeah, no pressure, Kez. Let us know. Yeah, come on. Let's Join know. the party. Right. <laughs> Don't make us look bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so like so because because you don't cook very much i know that Stu cooks what are some like like to these days like because now it's been like a year since your bypass has been like three years since the sleeve for you um what is like a typical day like for to get your protein right, so in? typical day for me is i do have uh scrambled eggs with breakfast poached eggs um and bacon something like that. i have eggs uh, okay. If I'm going to do a typical day, then lunchtime I will have a salad, and I normally have tuna, ham, feta, anything like that with it. 
and then I have um, uh, salad dressing on it, uh, which is the non-fat salad dressing. And then I have cottage cheese with it, because I know you love cottage cheese. And then in the evening, I will have a piece of meat. <laughs> Your face is stuck on that. That was so funny. And then for the evening meal, we normally have a piece of meat and those Mediterranean vegetables or okay. any sort of vegetables like that. Yeah. What about you? Like for me lately, um, you know what's funny is for me, it's been like seven and a half years now. Um, yeah. And to this day, I use, I still can't eat first thing in the morning. If I eat something solid first thing in the morning, it just kind it of. Is like, it's like 11 Z's for me. Yeah. So usually I'll, I'll have coffee in the morning with a little creamer. Um, I don't add sugar or anything to it. And then I'll usually eat like around 11 or so. Yeah. Be because I'm doing this um, 75 day challenge, the food is kind of strict, uh, like the diet that you're following. So like for yeah. lunch, I do a lot of meal prepping over the weekend. So I'll have like, um, like ground turkey with like steamed sweet potatoes or just, or like veggies, or um, I'll make like just regular baked, boneless, skinless chicken breast with some yeah, broccoli. Yeah. And then dinner is usually like some kind of a leaner meat. I do I do love red meat, but I know it can still yeah. get a little irritate. Not too yeah. bad, but um, yeah. it kind of causes a little bit of acid reflux sometimes. So I'll yeah. have a yeah. Or I'll make like salads. Um, lately, because the problem is, is... I love salad. We were talking like a week or two ago about like the slider foods, how you can eat chips and cookies and, and all of these things and not get as full. And you just like, you just and you think you've, and, and you're all, yeah. And also you think that you have, you've stretched your, you stretch your sleeve or your bypass. Okay. You think you've, you've slipped, you know, you think you've, um, stretched your uh, pouch. Yeah. You think that you think that it's going to all come back because you stretched your pouch. And now that I kind of cut all those things out for this challenge and I'm eating like the lean meats again, I'm like after three or four bites of chicken, I'm full. And I'm like, I don't yeah. think I stretched my stomach out. I just think that all of these other foods all don't trigger to feel full and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that, but, but now the problem is because I have yeah. to do these workouts, um, you have to consume enough calories in the day. And because I'm only consuming you know, three, four bites of chicken at a time, I was trying to find yes. some snacks that I can do that had protein and calories yeah. but weren't unhealthy. So I've been doing like a rice cake and I'll put like, um, like a tablespoon of almond butter on top of it. Oh, and then I'll, yeah, I just brought some, uh, not milk. Yeah. And then I'll, t I'll cut up like half a banana and I'll just kind of like and cut it in slices on top of that. And I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon is good for you anyway. I love and, cinnamon. Yeah. And then at least there's a nice combination of like fat, um, protein, um, and stuff like that. It, it fills me up enough, but then it adds like some extra calories so that if I go work out, I'm not going to like pass yeah. out or anything like that. Uh, so Kez said that she was sober. Really? All right. So um, holy shit. I still got like nine minutes left on mine. Um, oh, so Kez was saying that she was a real sweet tooth and now she has a mouthful and she can't stomach it. So Kez, so you can't stomach sweet stuff anymore. And she also loved licorice. And she's on so she doesn't tolerate sweet stuff. Apparently not, not like she no, used to. No, that's really good because I think if what I found after the sleeve, right, I did everything by the book and I didn't eat sweets. I didn't eat the sweet stuff. I didn't eat the crisps. I didn't eat anything like that. I mean, I lost 11 stone, 168 pounds on it. Mm -hmm. And so I was doing something right. And, um, yeah, so I didn't like any of those. And I think it's because when you do I had to do the liquid diet for four weeks before Which surgery. Which is crazy. Yeah. Crazy stuff. But I did it, and um, and then of course your sweetness, all of that goes. So you don't want all of that. It's not in your body to want it. I can't remember what you want. You go into keto, don't you? And then and then your body sort of doesn't want anything apart from what it's getting. And yeah. um, 
And then when I came out, I didn't want anything. So I was happy. You know, yes. I didn't want too much food. I didn't want, you know, this and that. So in my sleeve, I went along lovely. When I came out of my bypass, I've liked everything. Really? Isn't that strange? That I've is liked strange. Stuff. I've liked everything. And I, and I will say, because you're recovering for like a good at least a week or two from surgery and like you're doing on your sips and stuff like that. But by the time you're actually able to eat food again, all of that garbage is out of your system, like far removed that I never, I never craved anything. I never sat and be like, Oh my God, I really want pie right now. Yeah. However, comma, whenever, if I was at somebody's house and there was something on the table, now I craved it because I could visually see yeah. it. Yeah. But if yeah. I was home, I would have never thought about it. It wouldn't have been like a big deal. Yeah. And so yeah. once, like for me, I don't know how it was for you, but they told me like no carbonation for two yeah. to three months. I just, yeah. once it was out of my system, I just didn't even crave it anymore. I think, I think before my surgery, I was on four weeks, um, you know, of just liquids. Actually, guess what it was? Milkshakes. I would never be able to have that after. Oh no! I did though. I did with with awful consequences, which you heard in the Valentine special. So go and have a look at the Valentine special, and you'll hear all about my experiences with milkshake. It's not good. It was not good. It was not um, good. Oh my god! Side, side note: If you guys do make this dish, so I took um actual cloves of garlic and I chopped it off small <laughs> and I was I told you I like garlic this whole place smells like garlic right now and for me it is so I can't garlic so it's just gone in like bits like lumps Eric's gonna come home from the gym and he's gonna be like what the fuck <laughs> the whole house is permeated with garlic I don't care though it's so good uh, well I can't chop garlic and I've lost my little thing yeah, you know, you're, you're oh, the little garlic pressure. Yeah, I just chopped mine up fine. Um, I still look at, look at this. This was my spatula. It is now broken. <laughs> I'm like still bitter about that. <laughs> it's funny because I wasn't. I was in the middle of mixing. I didn't watch it. So like at some point today, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it and see the moment that my soul it left. Mixed. My it picked up, and I was like, "What did you do?" It's so quick, and it just went. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so what's your not... go-to now what's your go-to now my go-to for like sweets and stuff like, yeah like you you don't eat that so what do you eat um i will say that the peanut butter and uh banana kind of yeah. because i put cinnamon to it it kind of adds like a, it kind of feels like a desserty kind of thing yeah, um, yeah. Lately, I haven't had any desserts. Um, one thing I used to love too is I would take like apple slices and I would take apple slices and just sprinkle some cinnamon on it because kind of like who does that for me? Yeah, he it's puts so them in the microwave and stews them and then put cinnamon on them. See, that's a totally healthy alternative. Yeah, I do love lately for snacks. Um, I do love hummus. Because it has some protein in it. Yeah, I always think is that fattening. I don't is think it's. I don't think it's very fattening. I don't know. You're gonna. I hope not, because I've been eating it like crazy. Because I love hummus, but I never buy it because I think is that too fattening. I don't think so. It's you pretty healthy things into it, aren't you? So you're dipping healthy things into it. Yeah, and like, and I think it's pretty low in calories. So I'll either. What is that? Oh, is that the thermometer? You've got to get one, woman. Temperature gauge. Yeah, I need to get one. So I will know exactly if it's ready or not. So if in an air fryer, what's the internal temperature supposed to be? So the chicken will be 165. Okay. So that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. Would that be Fahrenheit? Once, yeah. Fahrenheit? 165. No, yeah? 165 would be Fahrenheit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's Fahrenheit then. So 165, and that's that's perfect. So yeah, basically, you just poke it in, make sure it's 165 or more, and it's done. So you're going to go check it now? Yeah, I'm going to check it now. I love it. 
No Freddy. Let I'm telling you. 135. However, this, this definitely looks really good. I'm excited. I just never know yeah. how to check when it's done. I usually, usually Eric's here and I make him get off the couch. I'm like, check that my chicken's done. And he goes, is it pink? I'm like, I don't know. But you know <laughs> the lighting in our kitchen in this, in this place is not very good. So I feel like the glare sometimes messes with me. And I'm so weird about having it be undercooked or I would never want to make somebody sick that I'm like overly anal about yeah, it. Yeah, well that's why you get one of these. You just, And also if you're doing barbecues in the summer, you know exactly that it cooked. Yeah. You know, gets, you know it gets burnt on the outside, well for me. Yeah. And then it's not cooked in the middle. So if you have one of these, you know damn sure that it's going to be cooked properly, you know? Did you so know that I love it. I learned an interesting tr trick when it came to um, cooking red meat, like a steak or something like that. Yeah. And it was using your fingers. And it was basically oh, you, right. you put your fingers to here and you touch the palm here. This is rare, that texture, you could feel it. Then this is like medium rare. This is medium. And then this is well done. And if you, if you do it now, I don't know if you guys are watching, like try it. You can feel the different texture right here underneath your thumb. Yes. And then you go, and then this would be like um well done. Yes. So if you if you touch the meat and you can kind of gauge it as to what status that's if you don't have a meat thermometer, but obviously a meat thermometer would probably be more probably like, um I'd probably like medium like then cooked. Ah, yeah, the you know, like medium side. The third thing. I'm not a big fan of um, like rare or medium rare. It's a, I think it also depends on the meat too. I just like okay. kind of like. You just right reminded now. me. You just reminded me. Sleeve, right? Stu had to cook my steak, right? If I had any, if I tied it, it'd be like that. It'd be one in there, turn it over, and cook there, and that was me done raw. I couldn't stand it any other way. I know. So it was literally rare. But now, after bypass, if I ever tried it, I've tried Stu's off his plate, it has to be well done. Really? It, I, I sit it, just like a, it just sticks like a brick. Yeah. I used to get so That's frustrated in the beginning because when I first started having red meat again, I literally, because you have to chew, 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 you have to chew it in like yeah. Until yeah. Wallow, and I don't know if it's that my mouth just got physically tired, like I just couldn't chew that much, or it would get tough. That's and at least, at least Eric didn't judge me, but like if we were home, sometimes I would chew so much I couldn't I couldn't physically chew anymore, so I would like put it into a napkin and like throw it out. And then Eric eventually he's like, mm -hmm. would, he would like look in my direction, and I'm like, and he goes, all right, nope. He's like, you're he's like, do your thing, and like that's just because, <laughs> that's just the norm for so long that I would have like. like Thing. Yeah. And I hate, and then it got to the point if we went to a restaurant and they didn't have paper napkins, they had like the cloth napkins. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not oh, eating no. steak just in case. So it says that my timer went off. I'm going to check it real quick. Okay. Well, mine's at 30 seconds. We've gone over. How's yours like? Over. Yeah, we're going a little bit over, but people are still watching, so they're still here with us for the ride. Okay. But I need to, like a couple more minutes, I'd say. I don't know. I don't know. I think this yeah, is a couple good. more minutes. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I think it's pretty. Uh, I'm going to pop it in the oven for another minute or two just to make sure because I don't have somebody oh, here. I'm going to do another few minutes. But I'm like, so, so if anybody also, because we want to be able to do this again um, and find like different recipes. So if, if somebody has a recommendation of like a really good recipe, I would love oh, to do it. To us, that'd be great. I think it would be really fun too to do like one week to do like um, a dish that's more, that's really popular here in America. Um, yeah, pumpkin pie. Well, you don't have pumpkin pie? 
There's no pumpkin pie in the UK? Why the fuck are you in the UK? <laughs> I don't have pumpkin pie. Because um, Audrey and Mike, um, they were telling me on, on Amazon to buy this certain pumpkin. And uh, so I brought it and I've still got it in a jar to do. I haven't done it. That's insane. There's no, there's no influx of pumpkins in England? Only, only at Halloween to uh, put outside your door. Wait, there's no pumpkin pie in Australia either? What in the Sam hell is going on in this world? Pumpkin pie is amazing. I know, but is it savory or sweet? You can do both, can't you? You can do both, probably depending on how much um, spices you put in it, but like, it's so good with like a little like whipped cream on top. It's really popular in the fall. Like it's a, it's a, it's a Thanksgiving, well, I guess you guys wouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving in the UK or in Australia. Maybe that's why you have no pumpkins. We have pumpkins at Halloween. They put them out at the door. Yeah, so pumpkin pie is really popular around Thanksgiving here. Okay. Um, that's insane. Wait, wait, Kez, you've had sweet potato pie or you've never had sweet potato pie? Oh, I think she's had, have you had sweet potato pie, Victoria? I've had sweet potato. I don't think I've had it in a pot. Oh my God, it's so good. It's it's kind of sweet. It's not what you would expect it to taste sweet like. Potatoes, this, oh, they're beautiful. I love sweet potato. Oh, so, and I'll, I'll steam sweet potatoes. Um, and like I said, I'll put it with my ground turkey or I'll have it like with some veggies or something like that. Yeah, it's really good. yeah. Okay, so that's pumpkin pie on the list then. Oh my God. So yeah, Whoa, in, the, look at yours. in the fall, we're going to have a pumpkin pie episode and we're all going to make pumpkin pie together. Um, oh, mom said that sausage and potatoes are really good to make, which I do love her sausage and potatoes. So I'm going to put a piece on here so that you guys can see it. I think it's ready. Oh, how are you doing? I think I'm good. Is the air fryer on? <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. Okay, are you ready? For, are you ready for my I'm little potato? Now. She's not ready. I think it's not on. <laughs> Okay. That'll fit nicely. I hear it. Nice. Well, you're not looking for my fancy little reveal. Oh, hold on, mine's all coming out in the middle and doing all sorts. Oh, now I'm thinking about pumpkin pie. But we'll have to make like a protein style pumpkin pie, something different. Oh my, oh, it lifted up. Ooh. Wait, that was in the air fryer? That looks really good. That was all in the air fryer. So here's mine. Oh, look at yours. My little oh, chocolate. look at yours. Stuffed Did you like do two pieces or one? I've got three on here. Well, I got three. I just put one on the plate for you. Let's see it. That's true, too. It's probably really hot. Are you going to try it? Thinking. I'll tell you why it's cheating, because the other two could be awful. That's not cheating. Oh, you mean the visually? Yeah. Okay, look. Oh, look. My one's beautiful. Look, because I chose the best one. Oh, my God. Look. The pan is messy. But you can see the, the chicken. We taste it. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'll let you walk. All right, so try it. Are you going to try it? I'm going to try it. No, no. It looks really hot, though. Let me get my mum. I want her to try it. 
Hello, I'm was mad at me because I was prepping for oh, to avoid the last one. Doesn't yeah. want to be on camera. She's like, no, you're cheating. By prepping early, I said, I'm not, I was trying to be doing it for you guys. Cheat. So here we go. What's it taste like? Nice? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, so nice. It's good, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So the only thing I'd criticize mm -hmm. and these more stuff in the middle. You want more stuff in the middle? That's the only thing I'd criticize of mine. Like you oh, you would stuff it with more I'd stuff. Stuff it more. Yeah. Oh, okay. No? So, no? The in, so basically the ingredients in this, and like I said, we'll post the recipe uh online. Um, but the ingredients, besides the chicken breast, you need like an olive oil. Um, Victoria used a torrential downpour of olive oil into hers, which is probably why the color is much better than mine. Um, I used an avocado oil. And then as far as the seasonings, it's paprika, um, salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, and then the mixture is cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of mayo, spinach garlic and pepper flakes and you mix it mom all likes it. It. my mom it likes it. it all right so there you go yeah, like we just oh my god there you go guys so there you go we just made our first um recipe online live um we're sorry that it wasn't like it yeah it went over a little bit this time but we're so glad that you guys joined us and um, we'll be back next week at uh, 11 a.m. my time, 7 p.m. in the UK. And so, yeah, reach out to us. Send us comments. So if there's a certain recipe that you would love to, you know, have us cook or whatever, maybe we'll do a dessert next time or something for breakfast. And, yeah. then, um, and then we'll do the same thing. We're going to pumpkin pie. Pumpkin oh, pie. That's what I want to do. Yeah, we're gonna maybe yeah. we'll do like a protein pumpkin pie or some kind of a yeah. healthier variation. Yeah. Um, so as far as this recipe, like I said, it's about 400 calories for one chicken breast. Uh, that's but good, isn't it? I think that's because the whole meal. If you put like a, some spinach on the side, exactly. if you exactly. time, then that's perfect. And then it has like 40 exactly. grams of protein. Um, there's gonna be fat from the cheese, and so you can always. If you want to make alterations to it, you can use like a, a lower fat cheese. You can yeah, yeah. find substitutes. Maybe instead of mayo, oh, you can absolutely. use yogurt or something it, like that. It, but... We just yeah. decided actually to follow the recipe um, this time. But now it's going to be interesting that we can make variations down the road. And yeah, like exactly. find the diet tree, Philadelphia, and the diet tree, mayonnaise, etc. Mm. So, yeah. Right, so, exactly. thank you guys so much. It's done. Um, Victoria, it was a pleasure. I don't know if you've won or I won, but I think we both won today because now we have I lunch think we both won. and dinner. Because we're gonna eat dinner now. Okay. I'm gonna eat a little <laughs> bit this week now. But um, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week and thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you, you next week. week. Yeah.